So welcome back. We're going to take you from the Cattle Road to Wellhouse Corner and then up to Lynch's. So let's start at the Cattle Road. Remember we were here. Now I like the Cattle Road because it was a very wide road and um, it wasn't busy. There were a lot of rocks up, um, about sometimes 10 inches tall. So it was a good road for maybe tractors and so on going up, going up to the fields up here. Um, we found it a very good pitching rock. So we did a lot of activity around here. And uh, we played cricket in the road right there. So always had a, a congregation of boys sitting there. And then in the late 60s, early 70s, there was a street light put there, so that was even better. Um, let's talk about this area first. So as I go up the cattle road, you will, you will get to what I was telling you before, what used to be the cricket ground. I think it, the team used to be called Eastern in the early days 50s and so on when my father and them played so the cricket ground used to be an oval here it was nice nice on this side over here but fairly rocky on this on this side too this is the the ground palace i had mentioned before palace because all these grounds had names and this one was clay pit, clay pit. Okay. All right. So the cricket ground was there, and this this road is Lynch's. Now, above this, we're moving to higher ground as we go in that in that direction. This is north, and. This is uh, map number nine. Okay. All right, so up top here, there was a swamp, something like that. And they used that swamp to shoot birds. The water came from east of that up Merritt's, about 800 meters away. So the plantocracy used, used um, this swamp for their bird hunting. All right, so those are two places of note on, on that. Now, because this is high land up here in Lynch's, the water would flow downwards towards the lower area um, of Waterhall. So I will step across the road for a bit and show you um, how the, the naming convention works down here. Okay, so we leave the cattle road and we would pass Maurice Church about there, uh, Princess Brown Shop about here, and we go along and we get to what the beginning of Water Hall. Now, water hall would be like this area. That's water hall, St. Philip. Now, I'm going to just show you that out here is Well House. And we'll talk about Well House a little bit later in the next slide. Right? Well House is pretty big. The, the road we're traveling along is river road right so river road okay so i grew up right here in water hall now why is it called water hall because the water would settle mostly along here and the children coming from river 
would have to walk along and kick water all along that area. So there was a big pond here called Gillibeard's Pond. And um, Gillibeard was Mr. McCarthy. And he lived somewhere up here in Lynch's on the Highland. But he worked the land down here in Waterhall. So his pond would fill up and overflow into the road. There was a well on the other side of it, but didn't wasn't able to handle that flow of water. So you'd have at least a foot of water to walk through as the children walk along to school um, during the rainy season. Um, one thing you'll notice is that between the grounds um, separating properties, sometimes you will see lines like on the property I grew up, this was one line and the water will go down there. And this was the other line separating. So what they would become would be roads that are shared between the two adjacent properties so that you could get your, you know, down to your ground, uh, the vehicles down to your ground to load the sugar cane or whatever. So walking along, Again, we're here, and as we get, uh, let's see, where am I? Here. When you get about here, there used to be the village butcher, Clary Allen. Clary Allen um, would kill the, the pigs and so on, and cows and so on, on, on Sundays, mornings, and um, so you know the, the the people will come by and pick up the meat nice and fresh um there used to be lemmy shop lemmy's shop rum shop here and as you go further across you get to sam marshall's shop and then doreen garns shop there were a lot of shops in the 70s and so on. And then as you get to the corner of Well House, there used to be a hardware store there. And then on the other on the other side, there was the shamrock belonging to Lloyd Allen right there by the Grace Bible Church. Okay. So that is River Road, and um, there was a standpipe right here next to the Grace Bible Church between that and the Shamrock. So you would find that the standpipes are great places where people gather and you know exchange information, gossip, whatever. It's like the water cooler type of place. Some people even bathe there. All right, so we are at the corner now. We're now in Well House. So we're at one of Well House's corners and we wanna walk up towards the Northeast following Highway 5. And I'll point out that there were a couple of quarries so right here was quarry right that's a q and over here there was another quarry that went all the way up in the back of there so this is another big quarry so they were quarries to to uh, provide the limestone for the um, sod stone houses that you see around around Barbados. And um, I remember climbing through them as I went up to Aurienes's shop, which was somewhere here. So I would climb through there and go to the shop. That was my shortcut 
from here, something like that. Okay, so we continue our trip up past Aurienesse shop and we would go up to Lynch's. This, is, this village is called Lynch's. Okay, so we will turn across Lynch's and we would meet back up with the 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 road um the cattle road yeah and as i mentioned to to you before um this pasture where, where we played the cricket would be used to um you know take out your sheep and cows and so on and then you pick them up on evenings and then travel back down the cattle road to river road and take them home so that at the um at lynch's is about it your tour of the district